consciousness and peace to my divine infinite self in all realms and realities. Yo, we're going to build about the Aquarius moon. You know, it's a, it's, it's a full moon in Aquarius right now. So a lot of things that was under, you know what I'm saying, under the surface is being brought to uh, full now the forefront. You know what I'm saying? During this full moon, it's about getting things off your chest. Now, remember, the energies are even more magnified, even just times 10 even more now because we got Jupiter moving and we got Saturn doing this thing as well. And Uranus is about to pop, pop around into retrograde. So a lot of shit, all the illusions that was there before is coming to the surface. It's, it's start, you start to see through them. And that's why it's above, as above so below is, is reality, you know, in this realm. So during this time, it's, it's real good to purge, to get, uh, to purge of egotistical things, you know, all of us can be guilty of that, you know what I'm saying, I myself included, and, you know, looking for a needle in a haystack, and if I already have the haystack, I'm trying to find the needle, that might be the small needle to find within yourself, some of you may have a whole bunch of needles in the haystack, you know what I mean, but gotta get them shits out, if you the haystack, alright, so, um, Basically, during this time, we like, you know, things that was hidden that we didn't feel good about because we got that justice coming around, you know. We got the karma planet doing this thing with the Saturn. And, um, you know, and the, I mean, and also the, uh, the Jupiter doing this thing as well. And we want you want to get them things out. You want to get all that away so you can ascend and be light as a feather, you know. So this is kind of like when Usher come up with the song, My Confessions, and da, 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 all that, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get that shit out, you know? But I'm telling you, however, in a day and age like this, it's like, you, it's best to not accumulate that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's best to let the ego just slide. You use it for different things when you're dealing with opposition, but not when you're dealing with something that's dealing and pertaining to matters of the love, whether it's for family, business, or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? I mean, business, you can kind of use it a little bit. But your love is, you know, like a marriage, you know, that's considered a, a, a business. So you kind of go against each other, you know. But when it's a divine union, it's it's all in time. So the divine times uh, give you a lesson to learn. Like, yo, this is not a this is not competition. This is this is a true union that was already made in heaven. And you may manifest now. And we're going to show you how real it is. So, in this day and age and time, especially dealing with the Aquarius moon, it's giving you a time to reflect. You got 14 days, really, to reflect on things. You know, being the most powerful, this is when it's at its peak. And the full moon early. You know, I mean, on the 15th, in the early morning. You know what I mean? It's, and, it, you know, comes on down as it goes throughout the, the weeks. <laughs> the, the upcoming week or whatever. And, it, and, it, and at those times, you want to you wanna be able to take that time to reflect to self and to be able to set right what was wrong. Peace. So, yeah, you know, the last broadcast went out, but, you know, we had to come back in. Huh? You know, part of the so I'm eating this old fat, juicy zucchini, man. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. It's a fruit, too. You know what I mean? Media. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so we dealing with this moon, this full moon in Aquarius. It's it's a divine time, of course, because just for the timing of the 2020 aspect and just lining up the timelines of where you want to be, you know, what you've been feeling. If it's a new beginning, you know what I'm saying? That's the theme right now. For those who are on that, that frequency and wavelength is getting together while others are scurrying around trying to find a timeline to get into and so so yeah and during this time <clears throat> dealing with the Aquarius full moon you have a, um, a chance within yourself to be who you want to be you know um, just to be the best you that you can be you just you have that urge right now and this is the best time to act on it to experience new things. I remember with myself, even with dealing with those times, I, I had, the moon probably had to be in um, a 
Aquarius at those times or wherever it is or the age of information when it came in because I knew I wanted to express myself. You know, I couldn't fit in with my, my regular, my, my born family. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up, you know, growing and vibrating to a certain level to uh, having other families, and then other natural families, and then it just continues to go on up and up. And so, excuse me. And then you start knowing yourself even more and becoming more comfortable in your own skin and your own self. And you don't mix energies with mugs. So, this time is definitely um, something to, to put an end to something and make a new beginning. In the sidereal um, astrology, me, I'm, I am a Leo in for real life, you know, and in the, uh, and also my moon in sidereal astrology is Aquarius. So I have a fixed moon in real life until I come down here and I have a Pisces moon. You know what I'm saying? But up up at the top, man, you know what I mean? It's the Aquarius moon. It's like I came at a rebellious time, you know, and my heart is rebellious when it comes to certain forms of um, mistreatment. You know what I'm saying? I like to, you know, the moon is different, you know, and so <clears throat> most likely your your sidereal astrology is going to be a little bit different. But, you know, here, yeah, hey, it's, it's right around there. But we mix those, all those energies, they come together. You know what I'm saying? It's mixed together. That's why matches are made in heaven type shit or shit goes down there and we just live it out type shit down here you know and, uh, so it's real crucial at right, this time to, to set your thoughts on what you want to do I know myself that's what I feel you know it's like damn I gotta make sure again you know what I mean and it's always like that with me but you know now we get a chance to see how it feels to be in an Aquarius mind state because I never reveal a lot of things about myself, but I had to reveal these little things, you know? So, um, but, but however, all these things is going down in the Zodiac of Leo. And that's my natural home Zodiac from August to September. That's where it's at. The tropical way, you know, it's Virgo, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm an earth element, but up there, it's different. So, um, yeah, so it, it affects everybody in different ways. You know, the number 22 is, is, is very uh, significant to this uh, Aquarius full moon. And it's just things, the, the gate, it's just how it works, man. You know what I mean? So you have an opportunity to right the wrongs when it comes to this. And me, myself, or anything, I know I'm definitely I. I mean, you know, myself, I look at, I had to look deep in myself deeper, you know what I mean? So things that came up out of me, I know I got to a point where it's nothing I can bury down, but it was like, I know I came, overcame that. So when I was faced with those energies that was coming at me, I got a chance to feel, excuse me, what it felt like again to have those type of feelings. And I knew I was like, damn, I thought I got that about the way. So I had to sit and do the knowledge and shit because I, excuse me, you know, it's little things, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's not really nothing serious because, you know, dealing with the moon that I have and shit. Hey, I'm, I like to trust things. You know what I'm saying? I like, I don't think I have to, like, keep an eye on it and see if it's going to do this and do that. That's just too fucking much stress, man. Like, you going to do what you do. You know what I mean? So, so, I like to live and let live. However, certain things come around. And if you have been dogged a certain time, it's like, damn, you will... You will, you know, it be cautious, you know what I'm saying? And so you have to realize that, that the universe sends things in your life that you really need at that time. And, and especially for the long time, the long period, and it resets the karma. For everybody, whoever they did you, a, a wrong way mistreated you and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So they get to see you shine. That's why the mugs from, from the past, they come back and they look and be like, damn, they see the love radiating. They see when someone, you see your love actually radiated. And they like, they, they can't see how that's, they, they want to get a, t a touch of that and feel it, you know? But, oops, but it's not like real love for them. Because they just vampire and suck the love out of you from the source. And I feel it when I deal with certain people, I can feel the vampire from there, from the other side that's sucking to them. It's like, oh, they're feeding 